Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, third, no treaty may be adopted, nor shall any source of international law be employed to supersede, modify, <laughs> interpret, apply to the rights guaranteed by this article, resolution number four. Yes. Republican Party. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to want to use the United Nations. Yes. Quite possibly the Hague. Yeah. And I'm going to want my sons. Mm Mm-hmm. And if you thought that it was a waste of my time, uh, GOP. Yes. I think this is from the 2016 Republican Party. Mm Mm-hmm. Parents have a right to direct their children's education, care, and upbringing. Mm Mm-hmm. We support a constitutional amendment to protect that right from interference by states. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, I would say it does interfere in each and every state that has this uh, Temperance and Good Citizen Day. Yes. The federal government's refusal to enforce the laws. Yes. Then there are the international bodies known as the United Nations. Mm -hmm. I would tell the federal government, yes, Mm -hmm. that uh, when you refuse to enforce the rights of citizens, Mm -hmm. you're getting sued in the United Nations. (laughs) And uh, the rejection of the one-size-fits-all approach to education support a broad range of choices for parents and children at the state and local level. Mm. Long-standing opposition to the imposition of national standards and assessments. Yes. Uh, your temperance and good citizen day. Mm. Mm. The Republicans don't support it. <laughs> um, I, I just want to mention that. Did any federal uh, agencies? Yes of the United States federal government review the actual registering of uh, students uh, for voting before their actual age of being an adult? No. Mm. Well, I'm suing the federal government for not doing that. Mm. Now, the, the the housing authority, yeah, independent public entity, a creature of state and local laws. Yeah. I did look at what's known as the creature of laws. So, mm-hmm. Uh, manifestation of federalism uh, under U.S. Constitution Executive Order 13132. No. Could you get me the public housing authorities again? Mm-hmm. Somehow I got derailed from what I was focused on three year, uh, three days ago. Yes. <laughs> you know, for all of the housing authorities that have any knowledge of the violating of my civil rights, yes, mm-hmm. you get to. <laughs> and I did email HUD, the Housing Urban Development. Yep. Yeah. Um. I'm going to sue both HUD and the PHAs, yes, their Bill of Rights. Mm -hmm. Um, See, what happened was, is the state allowed for the issuance of court orders where my rights and the rights of my sons are being violated, yes. And you, as housing authorities, had an obligation to enforce my rights as a lower-income American, yes. Now, the Housing and Urban Development, yes, I emailed them while I was staying at the homeless shelter, yes, you did. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then now that I'm on rental assistance, but I can't get the rent paid on time every month because I'm out of the grace period. <laughs> it's a big problem because I don't understand how this charity is working. Yes. But I can't change my address unless I'm sure that the rent will be paid. Yes. I can't um, update my actual driver's license. Yes. So I can't get a state issued identification. Right. So I can't vote. <laughs> And even if I was to register to vote, yes, I'm not so sure I wouldn't be arrested for falsifying the information that I'm really uh, incompetent to vote Mm -hmm. because of the fraud of the arrest, yes, and the mental health evaluations. (laughs) Now, for any individual in a public housing authority or housing and urban development to have any knowledge of this, yes, it violates my rights and the rights of my sons to have housing. Oh, that's right. Yes. So, um, in this Bill of Rights, uh, could you get me all of the Bill of Rights? Yes. Mm -hmm. See, I think it's interesting that if you put in quotation marks, yes, Bill of Rights, Mm -hmm. there are a lot of departments and agencies of the United States federal government, as well as the individual states, Mm -hmm. that feel like they have a Bill of Rights, uh and it has to be enforced. Yes. But when I inform you of the fraud of obstructing me from using the courts, yes, Nobody has enforced my Bill of Rights because nobody wanted me to sue them. (laughs) Now, uh, there is clearly essential to ensuring compliance with the specific statutory obligations. Yes. And then the adopted uh, through the Office of Management and Budget Requirements. Yes. In fact, give me Pacific. Oh, is that Peninsula Housing Authority? Yes. You know, as much as I would want to apply for one of these subsidized housing locations. Yes, man. Mm. Mm. And all the various housing available to those that are on welfare? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I've had a real problem with sheriff's departments refusing to enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> Why don't we run through all the projects again, all of those that are on subsidized housing? Yes. Section 8? Yes. And any all welfare recipients that have any kids that go to school that are going to be 18 the next time there's an election? Yes. Where you as parents, yes, the fat, lazy, dumb, ignorant individuals that are citizens of the United States, <laughs> didn't want to tell your kids about voting, did you? You had a problem with them, aren't you? <laughs> the real eaters of the American population. <laughs> now, I know those American citizens on welfare that happen to live in the subsidized house of the second day. <laughs> you were so happy that the school decided to take over the registrating of your sons and daughters <laughs> so that the next time there's an election, <laughs> the idiots that live in your, <laughs> in your, <laughs> do they live in your, <laughs> the TV's too loud for you. Get here! what I'm saying. <laughs>